Good afternoon, this, I'm Kelly Dyer Fry with The Oklahoman, and I'm here on this historic day uh, with the U.S. Secretary of the Interior, Sally Jewell. Sally, what has this day meant to you personally? I would say this is a great day. It's a great a day that closes a chapter on dispute and starts a chapter on cooperation, which is how a government-to-government -government relationship should work. It's also a day for me to understand and celebrate these two great nations, the Chickasaw Nation, the Choctaw Nation, and what I've seen over the last couple of days as I've toured them, seeing really up close and personal how strong tribal governments work and how they work for the benefit of their people. What has surprised you about your visit here to Oklahoma? Well, I used to live in Oklahoma okay. uh, back in the late 70s, and uh, I will say that the businesses that both tribes have put in place, they certainly weren't in place here when I lived here. The development, the uh, economic activity is all brand new, and the cultures that both the Chickasaw and Choctaw Nation have embraced and shared with the public shows a different kind of pride in Indian country than I saw when I lived here years ago, and uh, I think that's just going to get strengthened with this settlement. Thank you, Madam Secretary. And I have Chief Batten here with the Choctaw Nation. Uh, what does this mean to you? Well, to me, this is a historic time for the Choctaw and the Chickasaw Nation and, and with the, the federal government to, to go uh, to, to me, take the Band-Aid off or put it on, if you will, on the hundreds of years of oppression. Now we're able to truly start the healing process. I can see us starting to get pride again in our nations. And it's so great to have a, a federal government uh, that is willing to work with us and to provide opportunities for our tribal members. That's what I see is nothing but hope for our right. tribes. Right. That's awesome. And I'm going to step down here. I have Governor Anna Tubby with the Chickasaw Nation. Hello. And what has this meant to you? Oh, it's a great day. You know, it just has already been expressed. It's, we're turning a page in history today. This is a historic event, and we're moving forward, I believe, together with the United States government to further and advance the tribes. Well, and I have Mike Burridge here, who did a little bit of the legal work on this deal, I believe. Yeah, Kelly. It's uh, first. I'd like to say that these are two great nations and, and two great leaders. And lawyers can litigate, but it takes leaders to show the direction and provide the funds and the leadership necessary for this type of litigation. And they did that. And Secretary, we thank you for. Uh, getting involved and saying that this thing was resolved. Thank you. I have to say our friends at the Justice Department were critical in this. So Department of Interior is here, but the Justice Department is our lawyer and they're a lawyer that wants to settle claims. So this is the 86th claim that we have settled since President Obama took office. It's the fifth largest claim uh, for mismanagement of resources that's gone back over, in many cases, hundreds of years. And this does close a chapter on a prior history and open a new chapter of cooperation. So our friends in the Department of Justice were instrumental, as were the lawyers in working with the tribes and making this happen. And think of all that money that the tribes will now have to spend on things that they'd like to spend it on instead of litigation. And uh, the same is true for the federal government. Well, the settlement was $186 million, and I think probably the tribes have a lot of plans and a lot of good things to raise your people up. So, Definitely. Thank you. Congratulations to all.